Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Madisonville Marine. I've always told you there's no better place to buy a boat. That's because, you know, there's no better place to buy a boat. If you're looking for selection, well, theirs is the biggest in all of East Tennessee. If you're looking for prices, well, theirs are the best in all of East Tennessee. And if you're looking for customer service, well, they've been in business for more than 40 years. That tells you what kind of customer service they do. Madisonville Marine, Highway 411 North in Madisonville. All right, back with my entire player panel, the VFLs, <laughs> Kyler, Will, Bobby, Sterling. Um, for years, the big thing was, let's get out of this old traditional attack. We need Tennessee needs to get into this spread. Everybody's doing it. We need to go to the free option thing. <laughs> now that people have seen that and there are weaknesses to all these offenses, it, can we go back to a fullback? Let's go back to the I formation. <laughs> Sterling, you mentioned it last week. They could possibly be a formation package. You thought that would be a solution for this bunch. Andre Ware put it out there yesterday after talking to the coaches this week. No he doubt. got it. He, and got, said it you for, could see he it. got it for, from yeah, Sterling. He, he, well, that's it. He, he said you could use it against source. Florida, and I thought, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Butch Jones appreciates you saying that you could see that against Florida. Here's my question, though. Well, let's, let's start with Kyler. Is there – you have used a fullback package or an under center package, however you want to frame it up, um, at times, but not a lot. How big is that package if they have one? Based on your knowledge of last year? Um, I wouldn't say that that's going to be the factor in winning a game, is if you can have a full back package. I mean, it's, it's yeah, it helps some, you know, goal line, short yardage, but it's really not that big of a thing. What's, you know, what's the reason why they're going under center a little bit more, why they did in the first game, and while they will continue, is because of Hurd. He is 240 pounds and he's 6'4". They're going to put him seven yards back and let him get a full head of steam going into the line. So that's what they wanted to do. Yeah. That's why they went under center. That's what, I mean, they want that big dude to run through the line. Guys, fullback package gonna, it doesn't sound like it's going to make that big of a difference. Would you trot one out there? Roll, any, roll the dice right now? Anything works? Go for it. Well, I don't think it necessarily has to be I formation or fullback or whatever it is, but it's get two running backs on the field at the same time. I mean, right now, most of the game, they run 11 personnel. One bat, one wide receiver, one tight end, three wide receivers. And, you know, just right now, if you had to say, who are your best players? How do you get them on the field more together? Kamara is not your fifth or sixth best guy. He's top three. You know, you've got Kamara, Hurd, Josh Dobbs, and then a couple receivers. Figure out how to get those two, your best players on the field. Run a 20 formation, 21. That's two backs. The next get, segment, that, I'm going to have you draw that up. That gives him <laughs> another option as far as there's, you know, there's three guys that they have to account for. And, you know, I think, I think that would, you know, if you did have at least two backs uh, in the game at the same time, that, you know, it'd help you. I Absolutely. think it would. Sterling? I mean, I, I like it because it gives, like Will said, he's the best guys on the field. It also gives the defense, uh, paralyzes them a little bit because they might be in base. And you imagine if you catch a defense in base with Alvin Kamara and Jalen Hurd and at the same time, motion Kamara out and a Mike linebacker has to guard him? Whoa. I just think specifically Andre Ware said you could see a fullback in front of this, which tells me those guys come in and talk to coaches. So here's what I'm going to ask. If they run that out there against Florida and it has success, why haven't you been using it earlier? Because if the idea is, well, we wanted to hide it from Florida, I'm pretty sure a fullback mm -hmm. won't make them faint. You know, it's not like you're going to run out there in the Notre Dame box. There's no, you're not going to surprise them with, oh, my God, a fullback and keel over. So if, if, you, if you run that against Florida and it works, I think myself and a lot of people are going to be saying, gee, would it have been nice to see that against Happy State in Ohio, too. I, but I wouldn't what, expect G, much of it. Right. Gee, we're 3-0, oh, John P. G. I'm just saying. <laughs> gee. Hey, and here's the thing. We're 3-0. And, oh. and if they beat, hey, baby. And if they beat Florida, Sterling, we're we'll, if they beat Florida, we're going to have a big celebration here. Let's but, this, do it. but these first three, see, we're being a little critical because what we've seen these first three games could make you lose a lot of these last nine games. Hey, hey, so, I get bet every game. So. I like being better three and zero. Good, <laughs> evil. Good, evil. It all evens out here. All right, when we come back, uh, quick slants. A lot of them. You want to come back and catch these? Will's even going to be the the drawing board. So come on back. <laughs>